What's up guys, this is Kyle. I'm in Michigan right now. I'm on my beautiful family farm, enjoying the weather, and I'm stoked because I bought a truck today. Not just any truck, a truck that's been in my family name, my dad has owned for 35 years. He sold it to me for $120 worth of scrap metal. You ask yourself why so cheap? If you take a look back here, you can see the beauty. This is a Chevy 1965 C20. Body looks like it's in really good shape, other than trees growing up through the bed. Looks like there's an animal or two living inside. I wanna get this thing on the road, but we gotta get it out of the woods. Right now, I'm gonna cut all this shit out of here, and I'm gonna grab my dad, and we're gonna pull the truck out with the tractor. So, I'm gonna set up a time lapse real quick, so you guys can follow along. So I was able to cut a little path around the truck and I'm happy to see there's a back left tire and there's a front left tire, so that's cool. There's not any big trees growing through the bed, which is great. So next step, I'm gonna grab my dad and pull it out. What do you think? We need to put a rear tire on though, don't we? Yeah. You want to mess that combine if it holds up that one part? Mm. That's the part that holds up right there, you know? Easy now, cowboy. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna try to turn the wheels all the way to the right. We threw the kibosh on, uh, throwing the back tire on. We're just gonna pull it out as is, see what happens. Okay, so gonna have to do is hook it up so that the tractor is pulling up on it. Nice work. So there you have it. Got her all pulled out. I was surprised at how easy you're able to pull it right out. It was because I hooked it up. That puts all the weight of the truck on. Like If I had just hooked it up to the draw bar, it would probably spun out. Truck's all out. I hooked up. Uh, Next step, get her running. 